Welcome to an example on how to write the equation of the graph of a function using the unit step function or heavy side step function, which is defined as the function u sub c of t, or u of the quantity t minus c, which equals zero if t is less than c, and is equal to one if t is greater than or equal to c. Looking at our function, notice how we have a piecewise defined function. So I think it'll be helpful to first write this as a piecewise defined function, then using the unit step function. So we would have y of t equals, we'll notice how y of t equals zero if let's say t is less than four. And then from t equals four to t equals eight, notice how we'd be along this line here. So we'll have to find the equation of this line. We'll notice how if we go from this point to this point, we would have to go up three units and write four units. So the slope is equal to three-fourths. And to find the equation, let's use this point here, the x-intercept, which would be the point four comma zero. So using the point-slope form of a line of the form y minus y sub one equals m times the quantity, here the input variable is t, so we'd have t minus t sub one. Our equation would be y minus zero, which is just y, equals m, which is three-fourths, times the quantity t minus four, which means y of t equals three-fourths times the quantity t minus four if t is greater than or equal to four and less than eight. And then notice how when t is greater than or equal to eight, the function value is the constant three. So y of t equals three if t is greater than or equal to eight. And now let's work on writing this using the unit step function. We would have y of t equals, we'll notice how the first function value is zero, so we can skip to the next function value, which is given by the equation three-fourths times the quantity t minus four, when t is greater than or equal to four and less than eight. So y of t equals three-fourths times the quantity t minus four, and now we're going to multiply this by a difference of two unit step functions, so that the difference will be one over this interval, otherwise the difference will be zero. So we can write that as u sub four of t minus u sub eight of t. Notice how when t is less than four, both of these function values would be zero, so y of t would be zero. When t is greater than or equal to four and less than eight, y sub four of t is one, y sub eight of t is zero, giving us three-fourths times the quantity t minus four, and then when t is greater than or equal to eight, this difference would be zero, which takes us to the last function value of three, so we'll have to put plus three times u sub eight of t. Again, when t is greater than or equal to eight, u sub eight of t is one, so we'd have three times one here. Both of these would be one, so we'd have a difference of zero, giving us y of t equals three. So while we do have y of t written using the unit step function, Notice how we do want it in this form here, so we'll have to simplify this. Let's work on simplifying this on the next slide. For our next step, let's go ahead and distribute three-fourths times the quantity t minus four. So we'd have y of t equals three-fourths times the quantity t minus four times u sub four of t minus three-fourths times the quantity t minus four times u sub eight of t, and then plus three times u sub eight of t. Notice how these two terms contain a factor of u sub eight of t. Let's work on combining them by factoring out u sub eight of t. Let's write this as y of t equals three-fourths times the quantity t minus four times u sub four of t. And let's write plus, and then in brackets, negative three-fourths times the quantity t minus four plus three times u sub eight of t. And now simplify inside these brackets. If we distribute, we'd have negative three-fourths t, and then negative three-fourths times negative four is positive three, so we have plus three plus three times u sub eight of t. Of course, three plus three is six. So we have plus the quantity negative three-fourths t plus six times u sub eight of t. Now we could stop here and enter this in and get full credit, but let's make this function of t look more like this function of t. 
Let's go ahead and factor out negative three-fourths. Let's write this as y of t equals three-fourths times the quantity t minus four times e sub four of t. If we factor out negative three-fourths, we'd have minus three-fourths times the quantity positive t. Now here, when we factor out negative three-fourths from positive six, we get negative eight, so we have minus eight times the quantity u sub eight of t. So if we were trying to determine the Laplace transform of y of t, we'd actually want y of t in the second form, even though for this question, either of these two forms are acceptable. Notice how for the second form of y of t, here we have u sub four of t, and here we have t minus four. Here we have u sub eight of t, and here we have t minus eight. This is an important feature of this product, again, if we were looking for the Laplace transform of y of t. So going back to our first slide, let's go ahead and enter the information using the desired form of y of t equals three-fourths times the quantity t minus four times u sub four of t minus three-fourths times the quantity t minus eight times u sub eight of t. So f of t in this form would be three-fourths times the quantity t minus four a is equal to positive four g of t would be equal to, because we have a minus here, negative three-fourths times the quantity t minus eight, and b is equal to eight. I hope you found this helpful.